It's Friday. And what a week it's been. I mean, seriously, who would have thought? I mean, really, with the election and everything going on in the world, but there's always wine, right? And wine is good because wine makes you feel good. And it's tasty. And it goes with food. I mean, what more do you want? So today, you know, it's Bordeaux Day, and we are drinking Bordeaux. But not just any Bordeaux. We're, we, are, we are taking it back to the 2010 vintage, which was one of the greatest vintages in Bordeaux of all time. Oh, waitress, come on. I mean, 82, 89, 90, 2000, 2005. Okay, I, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. But realistically, when it comes to where everything kind of converges, you know, because again, in 2005, yeah, it's, it's a great vintage, right? But the wines are so tough, you really kind of they're just not quite there yet, you know? It's still, it, 20 years later. And then you have 2009, and nine was just like this sexy beast, right? But then the, the, the structure wasn't all quite what you want, and then it comes 2010, and I remember some people telling me in 2010, oh my God, we woke up in the morning, we looked at the vines, we looked at the weather, we just went, let's go to the beach. That's kind of vintage 2010 was. It was like the perfect storm of everything happening right all the time. And it did, because the wines are pretty damn good. So I go to my negotiant, you know, and it's last year, and they, like the year before, I, I had a really difficult time finding like cool older wines. I, I, I just was like, well, no, 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 no. You know, you, you come back dry and you're sad. I was sad, I had a sad face, okay? But this year, for whatever reason, like one of my negotiants that I deal with, he, he like, he like, I got stuff for you, right? And so he pulls out this like list of wines and one of them is 2010 Chateau Couffron. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Couffron. Couffron is like not your normal petite chateau, blah, 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 blah. I mean, you have Eric Boisineau, who is one of the most famous nologists in the world, okay? I mean, this guy does Lafitte, Margot, Aubryon, and the list goes on. Okay, like all of the top wines, Pichon Lalonde, Pichon Baron even, he, he, that's who he is. But people know, Mich you know, Michel Roland, people know, Eric, you know, uh, Stefan de Ronnecourt, but, but Eric Boisineau is like the man. So I remember when Eric Mal, who owns the Chateau, came in to me 20 years ago, and he's like, dude, we're, we're making big changes. Well, he didn't say dude, because he's French. He probably said, <laughs> whatever. But, and, and he's like, we're going organic and biodynamic. We're bringing in Eric Boisineau. Think big changes are going to happen at Couffron. And now this wine, big changes have happened. So Couffron is north of saint Estephe, So it's a cooler region up there. And surprisingly enough, in that region, there's a lot of clay. Now, clay is not really good for Cabernet Sauvignon, unfortunately. Clay is really good for Merlot. And so this wine, where normally in the left bank, you, you would get a lot of Cabernet, because gravel and Cabernet kind of go together, because they have good drainage. And the Dutch made all these, what they call jals, and the jals was what drained the Madoc, you know, back in whatever century it was. 
Um, and so for the Northern Madoc, Merlot works. It does. And Merlot's good. <laughs> So, I mean, whatever, you know, sideways, the whole situation about Merlot. Petrus is 100% Merlot, the most expensive wine in Bordeaux. Ooh, man. I opened this up like a few minutes ago. It was a little tight, but now the Merlot is starting to like shine, that, that fruit. And structure, 2010 is all about structure. So this is like 85% Merlot, 15% Cabernet Sauvignon. Kind of an odd blend for, for the Madoc, but it works. It works here because of the clay. Clay over limestone. Limestone, it just doesn't, you don't see a lot of it in the left bank, but you got it here. And 90 Venice Media, if that means anything. But we're talking about a wine now that's 14 years old. So you're, you're, you're starting to get the tertiary notes in the wine. It's, it's, it's not primary fruit. You, you're starting to get what, what the soil is kind of bringing to the wine. It's kind of, kind of like why you age Bordeaux and why we go look for older Bordeaux. The wine's delicious. Seriously. Silky tannins. Big, powerful, but silky. It's like you don't notice them as much. So you don't get that, like, kind of dryness of the tannins. The tannins kind of melt into the wine. So I would say for 25 bucks, we're $24.98. Cheapest of the country, by the way. Um, Incredible wine for the money. Incredible wine. And, you know, if you want to put it on your turkey table, go for it. So, like, subscribe, because you'll get these notifications earlier, and you'll be first on the block in case wine sells out. Thank you so much for being great customers, and uh, buy this wine.